Hi there, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. If you're in leadership or if you're in the workplace long enough, there's going to come that time where your boss actually usurps your authority. It isn't about you jumping the chain of command. It's about your boss jumping the chain of command downward and going straight to your employees. It, given enough times of this occurring, it can undermine your leadership and it can, it can just reflect poorly on the boss themselves. So what I recommend to tackle this is the first thing is to actually take it to your boss. Your boss might not be aware really of the negative effects of their behavior or that they are doing it in the first place. They might be seeing something and taking action on it and just considering that part of their job. But talk to them and add, get clarification on why it is that they are doing that. Is it because you weren't available? Is it because they don't feel that you have an expertise in a particular area? But get clarification on why. There may be a very legitimate reason as to why they're doing that. The other thing you want to do is offer them an alternative at that time. So tell them that they can come to you with those things and you can disseminate it out to your team. That's why you're there, is to take that load off of their shoulders. You wanna highlight the benefits to them of going through you to work with your team. If you can highlight those benefits, you're gonna have a much better chance of having them stop that sort of behavior. So offer that alternative and then highlight the benefits as well. Now, the other thing is even if you don't aren't successful, um, in getting your boss to stop this behavior, you can also use this bad scenario for a good purpose, and that is communicating more with your team. If you're communicating enough with your team, then it almost doesn't matter what your boss does to usurp your authority because you have that relationship with your team, and that's gonna be something that they can hold on to even in the face of that uncertainty. So use that as an excuse to communicate more with your team. Call out the good that's going on. Explain the why of the decisions that you're making, and those ground out that communication um, with your team and so they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt if there's any question on things. Also you're able to jump in after the boss gets there and clarify things and so you and the boss then look like you're a team. The boss brings it up first you then go and clarify and support the boss's decision and then it looks like a cohesive unit and it doesn't look like some sort of weird jumping of the chain of command. But those are the two things. Go talk to your boss about those things and then talk to your team as well. Communication cures most of the ills in the workplace. Thanks so much. Have a good one.